All right, so now back to the main story here over in Twine. Let's go ahead and speak with Vinfilia to take on the level 76 main story quest entitled On Track. Minfilia remains adrift in the turbulent sea of thoughts. Oh, I'm sorry, I was stuck in my own head again. It's clear that Magnus has no intention of helping us, but perhaps we should ask the other residents. They may know something of the trolley. I'll take the north side of town. Let me know if you learn anything. Thancred, art thou truly content to stand witness to face course and take no part? This isn't a matter of fate, Rianger. It's about choice, and I've had years to decide where I stand. Five of them, exactly. Minfilia spent too long in the chains already. I would not shackle her again by making my hopes known. If it is for her to choose what shape her destiny will take, it is for me to stay silent, to protect her, teach her, and stand by her. That, at least, I can do for her. And so off he goes. Yeah, no, Yanjay's like, just there, like, uh, so be it. Come, let us make our own inquiries. So, yeah, as we do these things. Yeah, so for the situation that we're in, for those of you who missed last night, um, we needed to try and ask Magnus, the person who runs the town here, to help us out with allowing access to a trolley that will allow us to advance further on. Problem is, the guys are drunk. To put it mildly. Can I jump up here? Nope. The crates are in the way. The crates are in the way. Oh, we're going back to speak with Jerk. Alright. Oh, there you are. You'll be pleased to know that I got a friend back home with no trouble and he's just fine. He was a bit shaken up is all. And you, what did Magnus have to say? Well, here's what we need to tell you. Uh, I did have a faint hope that your need might prompt him to action where our interest is not, but I suppose that was foolish of me. I'm sorry that we couldn't be of help though. I could at least show you the trolley car we have if you like. You could give it a stroke or two, it has some very smooth wood. <laughs> yeah. What's with the double entendre? You mean to say you're not giving up? Even though Magnus is... Magnus? Exactly. I don't see much point in your being stubborn about it, though perhaps stubbornness is exactly what the situation calls for. Can't forge iron without an anvil, after all. I can't imagine that anything you try will work, but if you're certain, you can help me make preparations in the event that it does. To that end, take this toolbox. We're going to inspect the rails. I'll have a look along the tracks for anything that's in need of repair. You bring the tools and I'll be ready to hand them to me whenever I stop to work. Very well then. So let's head on out. Yeah, here he is at spot number one. Yeah, we have to open the toolbox next to him. You open the box, revealing the proud array of lovingly maintained tools within. Brilliant. Now, if you could hand me what I need as work, as I work, that would be a help. In this case, hmm. Well, this bolt is loose for one matter. We can't solve that. I'll we'll need to tighten it. So, what do you need? A vicious locking saw, a mid sized wrench, or a ragged cloth? Yeah, I think we're going for a wrench here. There you go. Yeah, have a look. Thank you, this one will do nicely. Well, it only made sense. Now give me one moment and... There, I don't see any of the problems here, so let's continue along the track. Alright. So let's go ahead and pick up the toolbox and... Take it worth further down on the tracks. And along the way, we can pick up this conveniently located ether current.
But yeah, as far, getting back to my previous point, as far as um, villains who are deserving of sympathy, there's ever only been one instance where I've seen that before, and that was in Lunar. But that's but that's pretty much it. I've never seen any other instances of sympathetic villains at all. So we set down the toolbox, the muscles of your arms enjoying profound relief, and open it once again. You're quite handy to have around, you know. And so let's take a look. Gotta get out there. As to the lamp here, they aren't often necessary these days, but if we're going to do this, we might as well do it properly. And if by some miracle the night returns, as it did in Lakeland, well, it's a nice thought. So, anyhow, a bit of this post seems to have splintered. Whether it's lamp to be lit or not, we won't want these little pieces of wood jabbing the next person who comes through here to do maintenance. I'll need to sand it down a bit. Alright then. So in this instance, we need to give him a rough file. Yeah, here you go, jerk. Yeah, have a look. Yeah, look at his smile. Yes, a wood falls perfect. Let me even this out. That should do it. I'll bring some varnish along next time to finish the job. I haven't spotted any other problems, so we can move along now. Unless you'd like to take in the view of the trucks from here for a bit longer? It's breathtaking, I know. Yeah, as we assess the area. Mining has always been the primary vocation of folks in the hills of Amber, you see. But after a certain point, they dug up everything that could be easily reached and carried back by manpower alone. It was then that the Nabatha Empire struck upon the idea of the Talos, which they had seen at work abroad. At great expense, the Nabath brought the Mistel engineers who specialized in Talos here to the hills. Mistel? That's cool. And you wouldn't know it, th wouldn't you know it, the mining industry picked up right again. Which gives us what we have now. Twine itself sprung up around that time, as a matter of fact. It was named after the Entwining of Tales, the fruitful cooperation between the native Ronso and the newly come Mistel. That's cool. And when he says Ronso, he's referring to the Rothgar. But that, like so much else, fell apart in the wake of the flood. The Mistel left taking their knowledge with them. It was 15 years ago that the last of them. The folks from Daedalus Stoneworks took off for Yulmore, and now no one remains that can repair and operate the Talos. Is that why Magnus is so depressed? But there's no use in lamenting what can't be changed, and there's one more thing we need to do while we're out here, so we might as well get to it. Vultures occasionally make their nests on the trucks you see, and it falls to us to move them when they do. The creatures are angry and disturbed, which is natural, but nevertheless a danger to anyone passing by. It's not my favorite to ask, to be honest with you. As you may have noticed, I'm not terribly suited to confrontation. That said, would you follow the tracks north and remove any nests you find from me? I'll keep an eye on things from here. Alright, so let's continue along then. And we can conveniently see a nest right over here. We're gonna have to cross to the other side for it. So let's go ahead and do away with it. Yeah. Hey you. Hey you, sha na na na. Ooh, that was quite a bit of a crit hit on me. But we'll overcome it. It's just one. It's just the mama bird. Put it away. There we go. Alright, go back to the other side. Because yeah, we can clearly see where the next one is. Let's do away with this nest as well. Deal with some pissed off birdie. Or birdo, maybe. Yeah, it's not going to spit its eggs at us here. Although that would be hilarious. Yeah. 
finish it with 24,000 points. Continue. And it's going to be on the right side this time. Alright, help ourselves to the nest. And here's vulture number three. This guy's look out for his wing cutter. And show him what we do. We have angry vultures trying to make a mess of things. Alright, back the way we came. So yeah, the nests are now down, which means we can go back to Jerk. And so, hanging a right. Okay, Jerk, we're back. Thank you. Thought should be everything taken care of. In return for your help, I'll tell you a bit more about the trolley. Not that, and nothing that can get it started again, though, as I said. The people who knew how to repair the tunnel so long gone. When they left, the life began to bleed out of the town. The trolley's tracks rusted and the cars fell into disrepair. Now, I was born in Twine, raised there. My first word was trolley, dammit, and those were the worst years of my life. But then about seven years passed, Magnus and his wife returned to us. Magnus is a real proper trolley engineer and perhaps he would never have left in the first place if it hadn't been for his son. As you're well aware, Amarang is hardly the safest place and Magnus wanted his child to grow up away from its dangers. It didn't help in the end, the senior has got the boy. Isn't that always the way? The child always said that someday he wanted to see Magnus' trolley running again. So in his memory, they returned to Twine, started fixing those rusted rails and broken cars and it was going well, for a time. But then... Yeah, I was about to say, did you hear that? Wicked White! Vultures? Are they back for revenge? <laughs> Never mind, I don't want to find out. Yeah, we better run back to town. Yeah, let's get out of here before the vultures seek their revenge. Yeah, try and outrun my motorcycle. Yeah, we could hear that screech. Yeah. Whoops! Hey, jerk. Oh, nice work out there. And now you have to know the story of the trolley. Won't do mu you much good without the hollow though. If there was even but a single one that still functioned, things might be different. But, well, here we are. So we'll take the experience. Gill plus some 409 leggings. So now that opens up all these side quests here in the town. But yeah, there are going to be a lot of them here. Four, six, ten. Four, four, six, ten. Fourteen. Yeah, fourteen of them in this little town. But we can't do all of them as of yet. So we need to continue to advance with the story. So how are we doing on Amarang? Still need to collect four Aether Currents. Um, I know for a fact that we cannot access all of them now until we've advanced further into the story. So, let's go ahead and do that by speaking with Jerk to take on the level 76 main story quest entitled, Down for Maintenance. Despite his better judgment, Jerk is considering throwing you a bone. Not that it'll do you any good, but we do have a teller who've been meaning to repair. I can I'll show you if you'd like. It'd certainly be nice to hear from something other than Magnus is griping for a change. <laughs> so yeah, let's have a look at what we're dealing with. Is it going to be above or below me? Oh, it's right there. Alright, let's look at the Talos. Yeah, because Oriange is checking it out too. But yeah, you can see the slots where power is supposed to go to it, I guess. Truly a most vexing state of affairs. I thought mayhap a closer examination might yield something of value. And did you? I see. 
The means to build hollows stone by stone are lost to us. Tis true, but here before us slumbers a most fine specimen. So what are we going to do about it? Indeed, were it not for a few minor failings, it would be in working condition. To likely require naught but a few modest repairs and a suffusion of ether. Think we can get there? Well, if you think you can get the thing up and running, far be it for me to stop you. But what exactly do you reckon is the problem? Yeah, do tell. I should stress that I performed only the most curious, cursory ex examinations, though such arcane constructs are not wholly unfamiliar to me. As I did suspect from the first, it is host to a network of veins through which ether floweth freely. Also it would, were it not for several fractures which impede said flow. How in the seven hells did you get all that from just a glance? I take it you thought up a solution as well then? I hope so. To bridge these fissures requireth a material highly conductive to ether. Once in place, I believe it will be possible to restore the talos to life. And so what are we going to do about it? Might I prevail upon thee to acquire that which we require? <laughs> of course. Not far beyond the walls of twine dwelleth a creature of living stone, the debitage. For sure am I that stone from such a being would prove most suitable to our needs. Alright then, let's do it. Very good. I shall have Thancredim and Fidia attending me in the remaining preparations. I spy but three obstructions to the flow of the Aether and the Talos, and thus would I ask you to provide three stones of the debitage. All else will be made ready upon thy return. Yeah, and Jerk is absolutely excited about it. Yeah, we gotta go out of the town to find these things. But yeah, we're not gonna be surprised if other people are gonna fight for them. It's a doggy dog world out there. Let's do this. Let's take it out. Alright, you're down. Now we'll run over here. Trying to avoid the birdie. Wow, that's amazing that ch chain kept going. Bring it on. Now I'm gonna take you down. Yeah, I'm going to stun you so that you can watch yourself dying. Alright, one more over here. Yeah, try and keep it away from the mole. Yeah, we don't want that thing coming to face up, is it? Side. Got you. And well, almost there. Yep, there we go. Ah. Uh. All right, let's return to jerk. Gonna be around here somewhere. There you are. But this case, we give it to Oyange. Thank Credit Minfilia will turn along with the remaining supplies we require. This does succeed in procuring stone from the depotage. We wouldn't be standing here if we didn't have it. Fine specimens, one and all. You have my thanks. We need now but wait for Thank Credit Minfilia's return.
themselves sometime later. For men to end the past by which Aether may through the flow of the Talos have been duly mended. They require but a sufficient endowment. And what will that take? You're gonna push on it as hard as you can. It's not moving. Well, not yet, anyway. Strange. The core refuseth to stir. I fear the condition of this talus is more dire than I previously surmised. As a heart driveth blood through a man's veins, so do doth go core aether through this massive frame. Failing its repair or replacement, this talus cannot be restored. So it was the heart after all. Did thou foresee this outcome? Well, no, not exactly. We never gotten this far in trying to repair it, so we had no way of knowing the heart was the real problem. We tried to find another, in case things turned out as they are now, but... No such luck. Yeah, what happened? This really isn't my story to share. Well, you better share it or else we can't go any further. Please, Jerk, if something went wrong, maybe we can help. Yeah, you're with friends here. Yeah, you got four of them right in front of you. Alright, alright. After all you've lot done for me, I suppose this is the least I can do. And so we'll go ahead and do exactly that. So now, Jerk is we need to speak to next, so let's take on his level 76 main story quest entitled, The Truth Hurts. Jerk may come to regret his next decision. Right then, the Talos. Their hearts cannot be made of just any stone. You need a special sort with sufficient ethereal, ethereal conductivity. Both it and the other materials used in the construction of Talos bodies are mined in the same place. That place, of course, being here, the Hills of Amber. And it was three years ago when she... Uh, no, I can't. I'm sorry, but you'll have to hear it from Thoth or someone else. Yeah, I'm assuming you knew this person well. Back to the tavern, then. Yep. Yeah, jerk becomes a jerk again and just runs off. And since you're conveniently located here, I will... Obliged to repair, if only a little bit. What the heck was that? Hey, Thaf. We're back. Still here, eh? You can ask again, but the answer's the same. Our trolleys are... Will you shut up for once and let us explain? What? God's damn jerk! You could have at least finished so when I wouldn't have to clean up your mess. Seeing as you made such quick progress in fixing that talus and all, he was probably thinking you could help change things around here. And I think he might be right. Gather your friends and I'll tell you what you want to know. Yeah, because we deserve to know the truth. Well, that basically is what his name is. Out with it, man. Magnus' wife was a miner, you know. Greatest prospector there ever was. When the Golem Hearts started failing, she was the first to head out in search of more. Yeah, let's see where this story goes. Problem was, most of the veins ran dry ages ago. And finding fresh ones to tap's only gotten harder. But she wasn't one to be deterred. She just kept digging deeper and deeper. And then the mine collapsed. So it wasn't the Sin Eaters then. And you couldn't get her out in time. We labored day and night to clear away the rubble. But it took us two months to find her. To find her body. Magnus has never been the same since. Yeah, because he's the only member of his family left now. Anything else to say? 
Where is he, if you don't mind my asking? Probably where he still is. Ah, yes, well, if he's not here, there's only one other place he'd be. Probably at the mine. Jerick? <laughs> Sorry, but Jerk is funnier. Yeah. Over at the grave. Yeah. What? Oh, you again. Yes, us again. And it seems like you're still on the bottle. How many times must I tell you? The trolley won't run! We'd be better off dismantling the damn thing and selling the parts for scrap. Screw that noise. Now piss off back to wherever you came from. Don't let me catch you around here again. Or what? You're gonna get up all drunk and try and fight us? Yeah, good luck with that. What were their names? Hey, Finbar, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us. My son was named Skuli. My wife, Agna. Being here with them, it beats going home. Home stopped being home when I lost them. I thought to try and drown my sorrows, but somehow the bottle's never deep enough. That's why they have AA over here. No bottle is. Believe me, I know. You've lost someone too. Oh, he has. Yeah, Not let me like join you. you. Not my own flesh and blood. I grew up an orphan, so I never really knew what family meant. Not until I met a man who offered to take me in and make me his pupil. He was a kindly soul, always looking out for me, like a father. Not that I appreciated that at the time, or anything else for that matter. Yeah, I would assume he's talking about Louis Soi. Yeah. But I finally had a family. And then... And then I robbed a young girl of hers. Oh, great. I did my best to make amends. To offer her comfort. But the more I look back on it, the more I realize just how inadequate my efforts were. I let her down. That is why I refuse to let her legacy die. In the end, all we can do is press on. For those we have lost. For those we can yet save. Words we know all too well in this game. And that requires your Talos. Please, Magnus. You are our only hope of reaching Nabath Areng. What rubbish. Yeah, of course you'd say that. I guess we'll just have to beat some sense into you then. Yeah, he ain't gonna come around. Not as long as, long as that bottle's in his hand. She's not gone. No matter what you say or believe, she's not. We can still bring her back. How? Ah. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'll go now.
Yeah, so since we know what's gonna happen next, we have to go and speak with Oyanji again. Full well do I know the pain of loss and how heavily it can weigh on one's heart. Nevertheless, there is but one way forward. We must proce need to procure a new heart for the Talos. Thoth, knowing thou hast any location wherein we might find the stone we require, no matter how scant the possibility, we will seize it. I told you all the veins were tapped dry years ago, though I suppose if you really wanted to try, you might find something at Nubing's Le Nubi's Levings. It was open well before the Talos became commonplace, which is why the mine there was never quite as deep. When you get there, look for Guthion and tell him I sent you. But don't be surprised if he tells you the same thing. Thine assistance is most appreciated. Shinji, I think it best thank you join thee in this search. Though he would be quick to deny it, his heart is in turmoil and his thoughts clouded. It would be unwise to ignore his distress. Very well then. So where is the man? Well, actually, not that far. We do need to check the general area, so he's chilling out by the fence here. Off to somewhere, are you? That's right. And you're being encouraged to come along. At last, a lead on the stone we need to power the Talos. I can't very well have you go on your own. Lead the way. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll take our experience skill plus a 409 Lance. And it's here where we now have to be at level 77. So yeah, we know, now know what we have to do next. We'll have an opportunity to look at our weapons first before we do the required side questing. Alright, so I've got determination and direct hit rates against critical hit and determination. And then down here, we have determination and direct hit rates against critical hit and direct hit rates. So I'm going to leave that as is. But I am going to swap out the lance because it is the last 400 weapon that I have. So, yeah, I'm going to take care of all of this and then in a moment we will make our way through this area. Plus, I also want to, um, I also want to um, lo start looking for um, the remaining Aether Currents in the general area. Just so we can have an opportunity to get ourselves closer to getting um, the ability to fly here in Amarang because it might eventually be needed. So... Yeah, we'll be back in a moment, and then we'll start doing all of these side quests.